We aren't rolling, are we? Yeah, this, this just doesn't feel right. This isn't who I am. This isn't who we are. So, can you tell me a little about the history of ACC staffing? Well, 12 years ago we were in a 110 square foot executive suite in Cameron Village. And there was just one employee, myself. The phone didn't ring too much. Um, as a matter of fact, one day after a particularly long lunch, um, decided to take a nap. And uh, after about a half hour, phone rang, startled, had no idea where I was. Picked up the telephone, and uh, good thing I did, because uh, the kids probably wouldn't have had any milk with dinner that night. Wait a minute. How about something a little more important? Um, ACC Staffing had sales of uh, $500,000 in its first year. Uh, this year, our two companies, ACC Staffing and ACC On Demand, will do uh, $20 million. More importantly, uh, that represents uh, 2,000 W-2s, 2,000 job opportunities to start or uh, change your career. I think that's a very significant contribution to the community. What's the secret to your success? Oh, that requires some reflection. How about this? We're a passionate, eclectic group of individuals selected to pursue a common goal under an accepted set of values. You think that's spontaneous enough? I don't think I'm very good at this. How about if I show you guys around and introduce you to some people instead? I think the secret to ACC staffing is the people and the environment. A ACC staffing has created an environment that encourages teamwork and an entrepreneurial spirit. Individuality, respect, um, everyone is family and that's the way everyone feels and it's this environment fosters um, entrepreneurial thinking and rewards for thinking outside the box and you get to wear pink shoes. The secret to ACC staffing are the three W's, women, water, and watches. I can't wait to see what I get for my tenure. I hear there's some big changes going on at the company. Can you let me in on a few of them? Well, we've always had our heads down searching for great candidates for our great clients. All of a sudden, this marketing company gives us this big, fancy, and red presentation and we fall for it. It's time to brand ourselves, we thought. Well, not literally, but you know, figuratively. So, what's the brand? The first thing to change was our tagline. The power of positive was our choice. Um, we've all chosen to be in this industry with its highs and lows and frustrations and achievements. Um, we're not naive to think that everything's going to always be all right, but it's important that we all orient ourselves and put a positive spin on the interactions that we have with both our clients and our candidates. Got it. What next? Shazam! It's bright, fun, contemporary, hip and it's able to summon your favorite superhero. So that's it? Well, not exactly. We left the biggest change for last. You didn't. We had to. Everyone kept asking, what, what does ACC staffing mean? They kept asking us for tickets to the tournament, ball games, crazy stuff like that. But that name's been around for 12 years. Are you crazy? Yeah, but Rella Cohen told us it was a good idea. You let them pick your new name? Hey, hey, hey! What happened to the power of positive, pal? You know, we're all about accentuating the positive, accentuating the importance of what we do. Also, do you realize that accentuate? Something you have to start with ACC? Mm, never thought of that, did you? Well, here it is. Hope you like it. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You see what I did? I even got a little defensive, a little protective. I forgot to use the power of positive. Can we cut some of that stuff out? I think I might have blown the whole thing. Can we stop, cut, retake? Everyone makes mistakes. We're not promising that we won't. What we are committing to with our brand is that you can count on us to try and deliver the most positive experiences. What we expect of you, our constituents, is that you accentuate staffing, give it the proper priority, understand what it means to the success of your company or your career. You got to accentuate the positive elim. Mind it the negative and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In between.